Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to use the Gimmick plugin which we recently installed in my previous tutorial and GIMP 2.10 to create some custom font text. So let's open up this folder and let's have a look at the text first. So this is text written plant and I've used loads of different icons, about five or six different icons to draw out this text uh, with the word plants written here so you could do something different you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here but if you follow this tutorial then afterwards you can use the same logic to create some other custom text like this and it's got a drop shadow behind it if you're not already installed the uh, gimmick plugin I'll put a link in the YouTube description on how to install that on GIMP, uh, GIMP software so the first thing we'll do is download a few images so we'll open up our web browser let's go and open up our web browser and we want to download some of these images right so I'm going to be downloading them from this website called Flat Icon. So when I went to this website originally, I just typed in plants. Let's type in plants. And then you get loads of these different icons. You can download loads of different ones. I try to pick ones with different colors and some variation inside of them, right? So I will download these icons now. And I'll put links to all of these icons in the YouTube description as well. So we just want to select PNG file and set it to 256 and then click free download and we're going to repeat that for all of the icons there's about six five of them to download right so let's click 256 and all of these you'll find all of these icons in the YouTube description and once you finish this tutorial you can come back here and download other icons maybe on a different theme and you can create a different type of text using the same logic so we'll select 256 for this one and we'll just keep select downloading these. There's only two more to download. We'll select uh, 256 here as well. And we'll do one more. Okay, we'll open up this folder. Let's just drag and drop all of these icons into here. And we'll minimize the browser. So we've got five icons. One, two, three, four, five here. Let's open up GIMP software. I'm using the latest version of GIMP 2.10.10. .10. So I'll put a link in the YouTube description showing you how to download the latest version of this software and also how to download the, uh, the gimmick plugin as well. Let's go to File and Open as Layers here. Open as Layers. and we will go to my desktop and go to the folder and we'll click on this first icon, the clover one, hold down the shift key and then click on the last one. So it's these five we want to uh, import as layers here. And I'm not importing this one, this is the example that I just showed you, right? So let's click open and GIMP will load them all up here in the layers. We're going to go to layer, new layer here. And then we're going to set the size to 1920 by 1080 and the fill with, we're going to select white here, white, and click OK. Then we'll go to image and then fit canvas to layer. So select this option here. And then we'll middle mouse click and pan across. So hold down the middle mouse button and pan across. And then hold down the control key and use your mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. Just so you can see the full canvas like this. And we'll click on the text tool here. And we're going to draw a text box in here like this, in the center, something like this. And I'm going to use a default font called Vedana. So you should be able to find that on your computer, Vedana. So when you select the drop down here, you can see Vedana here. And we'll select Vedana. And in the color here, the color option, we want to make it black. So I'm just going to middle mouse, or we'll left mouse click here and drag to the bottom left or right hand corner. That will be black and click OK. And then inside here, I'm going to type in plants. Plants like this. And then I'll use my middle map. I'll use the left mouse button and select all of the text. So you can left click and then hold your left mouse button down to select it all and make it bold as well. So I'm going to make it bold. And then I'm going to have to reduce the size a little bit. I'm going to set it to around 414. So I can get it all on one line like this. And then I'll click on the move tool. I'm just going to move it towards the center a bit something like this will be good around here then I'll use the magic wand tool because I want to do a selection so let's click on the magic wand tool in fact before we do that let's um 
click on this plant text here right click on it and then we want to merge down here merge down and that will merge it to the the white background layer so now it's all one flat layer now we can use the magic wand tool or the fuzzy select tool and then click anywhere on the outside of the canvas in the white space here when we click select the text it's selecting only the outside but we want to select the inside here parts here as well so we're going to hold down the shift key and then left click inside the letters here and here but your text might be different so you may need to click left click inside different parts of the text depending on what you wrote there right if it's a different word it will have different characters like this and then we'll go to select and invert then we're going to go to edit and cut so basically we've got we've got the text cut out now and we've still got this white background here then we're going to go to select none and then we're going to take this layer the plants layer and drag it all the way to the bottom layer so left click and drag it all the way so it sits at the bottom here let's go to file save as and we're going to save this as um, a GIMP file let's save it as plant text dash zero one Let's click save. So we make a save of our, of our work so far. Okay, so let's click on this bottom layer here. Let's go to filter and then just click, let's click on this gimmick plugin here. And we will see the plugin load up like this. If it doesn't load full screen, you can click on this little box here to load it full screen like this. And then we're going to go to the patterns, patterns option here. And then we want pack sprites here, pack sprites. Then inside the options here, I'm going to set the scale to around 11 and then set the minimum scale down to around 10.9, something like that, 10.9, it should be fine. And then the spacing, I'm going to set it to minus 4 and then the precision, I'm going to set that to around 11, something like this. And then the masking, I'm going to set to mask as bottom layer and then the size of the width and the height, I'm going to save leave it as default 512 and then in the import layers I'm going to select all here all and then I'm just going to click apply so this plugin is going to go and do its work it's going to take a little bit of time maybe around 30 seconds something like this so let's just wait for it to do its finish its job okay so it took a little bit longer than expected it took about 45 seconds and we'll click OK here. OK. So now we clicked OK, we can see that it's taken all of those icons and it's used them to create the shape of this text here. But it's not quite right. So we want to do a few things here. First of all, we don't need this layer here anymore, this white background with the text. It's got plants written there, right? You can see if I hide this layer, this layer here we don't need. So let's click on this bottom layer here and then hit the delete button here. Delete that layer. Then we're going to create a new layer and it's going to be fill with white again and click OK then we're going to take that white layer and drag it down one so left click and drag it down below and let's go to file save and then we're going to click on the top layer we should label these right so let's call this bottom layer so let's double click where it says layer here and call it background and then double click on the top one and let's call that text so let's click on this top layer and let's go back to filter let's go back to the gimmick plugin here and then this time we're going to scroll up and we're going to go to lights and shadows let's click on the drop down for lights and shadows here and then we're going to select 3d drop shadow and on the x angle we're going to set it to 2 and then on the y angle we're going to set that to 2 as well and then we're going to click apply and then we're going to click ok now that is set as two different layers. You've got this drop shadow around the edge. And if I hide that layer, you'll see the drop shadow will get removed. And if I hide the top layer, then you'll see the drop shadow underneath like this. So we're pretty much done now. You can play around with the text. And imagine you could have taken any icons from that website and you can use any font that you want. And then you can apply the same logic and you can create all sorts of creative work just by using that same principle, right? So we, met, so we went to the website and we downloaded some icons we imported some text, we created a selection, and then we used the plugin to 
use some randomization of this these uh, icons to create this font like this so you can be very creative with this and you can create loads of different styles and loads of different examples I'll be creating some more of these I'm going to do like a space theme one and maybe a few different other examples but I just wanted to show you how you can use this plugin to create something creative like this so let's go to file save and go to file finally and export as and I'm going to call it plant text number two because it's a version two we've well, got version one done let's click export Let's click export again here. I'm exporting as a PNG file. You can export as a JPEG if you want. We can close down GIMP now. And now we've got the version two here. It looks very similar to the first version that I did. Let's see if we can get that up. So that's the first version. And this is the new version here. And I think the new version looks actually better. I think the black um, leaves and having them a little bit bigger, I think that worked out pretty well. In the previous version, they're a little bit smaller. So we changed the settings. We used a few slightly different settings this time. Uh, in this example that I've just done and I think it looks better like this so that's how you go about creating some custom text um, using GIMP using the gimmick plugin using GIMP 2.10 um, and that's basically how we create this custom text so let's close this down let's close this that wasn't a short tutorial it took a little bit of time but um, hopefully you can see the creativity that you can use um, you following this tutorial and you can create any sort of text using any of those icons. So go ahead and down, go back to that website where we downloaded the icons, maybe look for something different, right? So if we go back to this website and if we were to type in something like, uh, let's type in, um, what should we type in? Let's type in space, right? Space, spaceships. Let's type in spaceships. And you've got all these different spaceships and you could download some of these and you could follow that same tutorial, that same logic, and then you can make a different version of that text using these spaceship icons or you can type in whatever you like right if you go click on flat icon here um, it will give you some examples you can do one on weather or you could do one on food maybe or fruits or whatever you like it's entirely your choice i'll leave you to go and experiment i'm going to create a few more examples of this tutorial using some different icons so if you keep an eye on my youtube channel you're about to see some more examples using this concept let's close this down I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.